Welcome to the Unity Assets Store. If you wish to submit content to be sold on the store, follow this tutorial in order to bundle and submit your content for approval. First, ensure that you have a new Unity project open with the asset that you wish to submit inside. Here, I have a simple model that I wish to submit to the store. Remember that the Asset Store is open to all sorts of assets from art, to scripts, editor extensions. Check the categories in the store to see which one your work fits best. I've made a test scene here to check that my model looks ok in Unity. Though this is not required, we recommend that you check your work before submitting to save time in the approval process. Next, open the Asset Store window. Go to Window, Asset Store. Now, scroll to the bottom of the window and you'll see a link that says Publish your best stuff with the Asset Store tools. Click on this and you'll visit the Asset Store tools on the Asset Store. This is a package you'll need to download in order to submit anything to the store. Click on the download button and you'll be prompted to log in. If this is your first time, click the create account button and follow the steps to sign up for the asset store. Once you've completed this process, sign in with your account. You'll then be prompted to hit the download button again. From here, the asset store submission tools will then be downloaded and you can then click the import button to introduce them into your project. Close the Asset Store window once you've done this and you should then see that the Asset Store tools are listed inside your project. The Asset Store tools folder contains an extension which allows you to submit to the store. Click anywhere on the menu at the top and you should see the Asset Store tools menu appear. You can then go to Package Manager. Within the Package Manager you can apply for a publisher account and then create a package to be sold on the store. Click on Publisher account at the top and you'll then be prompted to fill in a publisher name, a URL and a description of you as a publisher. For example, I might put in Will's Games and I'll put in the address of my own blog or you might put in your company website. I'm going to put in this is an example of a publisher. You can fill in your full details here. You can also add in key images uh, in order to represent your publisher but you can do this at a later date so I recommend skipping this at this stage and coming back to it later. Hit save at the bottom and you'll then see that the package drop down is no longer greyed out so I can now click package and hit create new. From here I have my own draft package. I can fill in the title, a description, a version number if I were to update, I can put in a later version number, a category, a price, and images and screenshots to represent the package. So to begin with, I'm going to call this Island Outpost. This is the initial version, so I don't need to write any changes in there. And from here, I'm going to go to 3D models in the categories and find myself a relevant category. So let's say maybe sci-fi and then I might set a price so a few dollars perhaps and then I'm ready to add in my assets and key images. At this stage it makes sense to put all of the included assets for your submission into one folder. So back in Unity I'm going to create a folder that I'm simply going to call Outpost and ensure that that's in the main route. I'm then going to place in my outpost, its materials and textures into that folder. Back in the Asset Store Manager, I can hit Upload and choose my outpost folder. I'll then see an upload bar as this is submitted to Unity. I'm now ready to include key images, an icon, a small and a big graphic and I can also include screenshots if I wanted to. So how do I make these? Well first I need to download the key images template pack. This can be downloaded from files.unity3d.com forward slash will forward slash key images dot zip. Once you've downloaded this you will find that you have a sample PSD key images version 5. In this folder you'll find templates for GIMP and Photoshop. I'm going to make use of Photoshop templates, so I'm going to start by opening up the icon PSD file. 
You'll also notice that in Photoshop I have opened a piece of artwork to represent my asset. So what I'm going to see straight away is that within the icon I have a mask that is marked to keep as top layer and you should follow this advice. I'm going to drag and drop my artwork in and then make sure that the mask is above it as a layer. Then I'm simply going to rescale so that my artwork fits within the icon. Bear in mind that the template we've just made is a Photoshop document and not appropriate for submission to the asset store. So when you save any of your key images, you should be saving them as PNG format. So I'm going to go to file, save as, and then save somewhere different like the desktop, just to avoid any confusion. I'm saving as icon.png. I'm going to choose save and click OK. Then I can move on to completing my other two files. Next, the small. I'll open it up and then I'll drag my artwork in. Again, you'll see that there's a mask created that should be kept as the top layer. So I'm going to rescale my artwork underneath so that it fits within the template. And because this exists somewhere where a user might be browsing the store, I'm also going to put in a title. It's going to say Sci-Fi Outpost. I'm then going to do the same thing as before, saving as a PNG file. So I'll do Save As and call this small.png on my desktop. I'm going to save and close and then switch back to my templates and finally open up the big PSD. I'm going to copy over my artwork and then move it to the bottom so that the mask is kept as the top layer. I'm then going to rescale my artwork one final time, making sure that it fits to the right of the mask. And finally, I'm going to put on a title once again. I'm going to call this Sci-Fi Outpost once more. I'm going to hit save and then finally save as in PNG format. Once you've done this, you can continue and make JPEGs of screenshots. So for example, I might marquee this and crop it as a screenshot. And for this, I can save in JPEG format in order to load more quickly. Your images for screenshots must be at least 640 by 480 pixels. I'm going to change this to something more sensible, like 800 by 600, for example, and hit save. And I'll call this shot one and save on my desktop. Now I'm done with Photoshop, I can quit and I now have all of my graphics ready. So I can return to Unity and go back to the Package Manager. Here I can add in my key images and any screenshots I might have. So I'll click on Add next to Key Images and I'm going to choose my icon PNG file and hit Open. Then I'm going to click on the Add button next to Small and choose the Small PNG. And finally, the Big PNG. Now that my key images are complete, I'm going to add my one screenshot by clicking on the add button there and choosing shot1.jpg. I then have the ability to add more screenshots if I need to, but I can always come back and add these later. I can then click on the preview button to see what this might look like when on the asset store. You can see that I get an overview of a potential rating, a size of the submission, cost, my screenshot that I'd submitted, and my key images are being used. You won't see the icon just yet, but you will see that once it's submitted, or if you scroll down to the bottom to see the icon preview area. You can close this window and switch back to the package manager. From here, it's simply a case of hitting the submit button. You'll then see a submit package window where if you need to, you can submit any additional messages to the Asset Store Reviewer if you want to. I can then click on OK to confirm this submission. You'll then be asked to adhere to our end user license agreement for the Asset Store. Read through these terms and conditions and when you're happy, click on the I accept these terms and conditions checkbox at the bottom of the window and click OK. You'll then see Submission Successful. The package has been submitted and is pending for review by Unity. You'll receive an email with the status of the review. Simply click on OK and wait for the email regarding your submission. 
Thanks for watching. Have fun with the asset store.